Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mings. I am Gast. Hello. And we are back, and we are not cancelling this let's play. I don't know why so many of you thought I would cancel this let's play. Uh, yeah, who who would have, who and who? I don't know how they could have possibly thought of that one. I got a little bit excited, because they announced Maddening out of nowhere, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta go play it. But then I was like, you know what? Nah, let's, we, we finished this let's play, because... You know, it's stupid to go back and redo the whole thing and destroy yeah. all our meme units. I don't know. I got so excited when they announced it. I was like, oh my god! Out of nowhere! Like, oh my god. I didn't... The, no, could they give us some warning next time, please. <laughs> Intelligence systems is like that, man. They'll just, like, be like, hey, what's up? We have, uh... We're just remaking Gaiden. What's up? <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> There you go. Releases in two months. Have fun. Like, uh, yeah. No, it's uh, it's uh, it was rough, man. But yeah, no, I decided. You know, let's continue having fun with our memes. We have so many wonderful meme units, and then I can just you know play Maddening for Golden Deer or something. Uh, have you tried it yet on stream or or anything like that? No, I'm I'm still gonna beat Black Eagles probably this weekend. I'm gonna have like a huge stream I think tomorrow or right. like Friday slash Saturday or even a stream tonight because I finished early. Ah, cool. So, probably after this actually. Cool. Um, also, yeah, Paladin Dimitri, let's go. Paladin Dimitri. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go take on the Ramire Village map today. But first, we have some certifications to pass. I think we've been able to. Yeah, good results. Good results. <laughs> think we think we've met most of the benchmarks and finally gassed. Finally, it is time. Nice. Oh. <laughs> That's the thickest sword master I have ever He's seen. He's baller, man. He's look, so baller. Look at that majestic guy right there. Like you should see what you should see. What he looks like he's a mortal savant. That shit is hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> but don't make him a mortal savant. He does not need that. <laughs> it's just you know, sword masters are usually like slim, athletic figures, and there's just like a fucking brick with a sword right there. You know. Pretty much. There you go. And he's fast too. Uh, he's a 20 speed, man. <laughs> he's 20 speed, 20 defense. I like, GG's. <laughs> he is, he's banky. And then Felix, I think, is also going to be Swordmaster, but I... Yeah, 68, so... Should we do it? I actually made him an assassin. Oh. Because he has <laughs> even... Well, I mean, his bow rank can get... He's, he's actually an amazing art bow unit, like... Oh, really? Yeah, I guess he is. Because, like, he, become, he can get, like... Mm -mm. He can just proc his thing off, like, long range, like his crest. Yeah. No, the five extra damage he gets from that is pretty insane. Easy. Easy. So now he's Easy. a Swordmaster, ready to become a Martial Savant. And no one else is high enough level just yet. So, pretty happy about that. Everyone passed their exams. Let's continue Everybody on. passed! Everybody passed! I'm a cool teacher! Oh, I forgot to go get the glasses. Too bad. I guess we'll get them next time. Have you seen how- Do you think that- I, I- I seen it, but I question whether that DLC is worth it right now. Because it's like, what, uniforms and glasses? And some yeah, auxiliary battles? Yeah, especially considering Maddening is free. So... Yeah, why, why, like, why would I spend $25 on costumes that are honestly ugly as fuck? They're so <laughs> ugly. We've gotta go. Now. Okay. <laughs> the situation in the Village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless. Okay. Kill! Kill! So this is one of the classic examples where I feel like maybe some artwork would have been good. Because you only you only get to see the villagers speak, but you you see the camera's like tilted the wrong way. I can see that. It like kinda like how Echoes did it. When they yeah. had uh, the mirror shattering thing. Yeah, now food. now you do see the right way, but you don't see any people running around or anything <laughs> like that. What's wrong with yeah, you? Yeah, that's true. Okay, Demetrius having a reaction. Oh, you want you want to listen important. to this? We haven't a moment to lose. What can we do amid such confusion? We'll have to take up arms against the villagers who are rampaging. If we strike carefully, it should be possible to spare their lives. Oh dear. Isn't there a more peaceful way to deal with this? Ah. Uh, no matter how long it takes, we'll need to check and rescue them all, one at a time. Those who have gone mad may be victims themselves. Is it possible to save them? 
Well, saving the poor people who aren't crazy is definitely our top priority. Let's get on with it. Slow down, Annette. It won't do anyone any good if we panic and get injured ourselves. Isn't that... Your Highness, suspicious figures spotted in the village. They seem to be watching the chaos. Well, so are we. <laughs> are they the ones responsible for this madness? If so, it's clear what must be done. Oh, he sounds... Kill them all. Don't let a single one of them escape. Sever their limbs and crush their wicked skulls! Go, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, Dimitri. Thank you. <laughs> Did I tell you this? Uh, oh my, I can't remember if I told you this, guests. But um, when me and Sign recorded like the mock battle, you you had an option to Thank like you. say say like the other students are nothing or something, and then like Dimitri likes this. Thanks. Yeah, pretty... I think he just likes the confidence of you. Maybe it was a bit freaky though. Jesus Christ, that was he just like his tone of voice just shifted, man. Yeah, dude. There's something. He's there. Something about this is sort of like triggering him a little bit. It seems. Oh yeah. Jesus Christ. They have just uh, before while well, I was waiting for you, I was just I just like equipped everyone with proper items and uh, battalions and stuff everyone like has that. Battalion? Nice. Everyone has battalions. Manga now has battalions. I I promise. And then we we're gonna set up a nice stride on the. This is definitely like a stride map. Yeah, this is definitely a try not to get Gerald to kill himself. Oh my map. God, he's so bad on this map. It's so annoying. Uh, as I said, I accidentally strided him, and he just just ran and attacked fucking Tomas. And Tomas almost critted my fucking dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has like a 10 or 15% crit against him for some reason. Yeah, it's, it's well, I mean, he like his weapon is I think crit heavy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And I think Geralt's luck is kind of shit. There are some suspicious looking. His stats just aren't that great overall. But our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. Sure, Dad. I like this map, though. It's really cool. Me too. Then you gotta deal with DK. Oh, fuck. Right. He shows up, DK. too. Oh, my Death God. Night. Also, apparently there's new music, DK. but I... <laughs> Death Knight is here. DK. DK. Death Knight. So if we gambit here, then we get everyone except for two, which I think is the best. Unless we like want to move one guy in here. Um, what's first of all? What's your plan? Ah, uh, stride everyone, just spread out, get all the villagers. Do you have chess keys for? I have Ash. Okay, who's so on the other side. Yeah, <laughs> he'll get there. There's only one chest, right? I believe there's two. Oh no, there's you two. Can... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't. I think the the top chest is like a slayer weapon. It's not super great. Um, but yeah, I don't think I can get everyone with the stride anyway. So I might as well just do this. There we go. Thank you. And then we'll send. Uh, Give it my. He's strided, so it's fine. Cause send Ash over here. Give him a killer axe. Oh, I actually like the smash killer axe combo. Cause it just gives you a crazy amount of crit. Kill. Was that necessary? <laughs> you can't lose! <laughs> There's no kill, like overkill. I also really like, uh, like, I don't know, fire in this game isn't really that scary. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> like, nothing really, like, nothing's ever gonna beat Fate's poison. Oh my god. That was terrifying. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I'm. Imagine if Fate had fire too. I wonder if it's gonna play more. It's probably gonna be. Maybe it's gonna be not as important. Uh, that is the most hilarious spirit threat I in my life. hate. Like I hate this with such a passion. That's not a fucking boomerang. <laughs> this is not how. This is not how javelins work, guys. I am Ferdinand von Ah, oh, really? That's your name. I forgot. Thanks for reminding me. Ah, uh, Jesus. Yeah, I know that the, the way that javelin spins just triggers me so much. It triggers you? <laughs> it triggers me, yeah. <laughs> I have issues with it. Stay focused. I think we can just send uh it's really cool to have like stride Pegasus nice, such a nice combo. Can you attack from like across No oh, you can. Cause sometimes like uh in, in other games where there would be elevation, like you would fuck with your targeting whenever you're hovering above a house. 
Yeah, like Radiant Dawnish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to attack from like a higher elevation and you're like not in range, which is super annoying. So apparently you're getting slowed down by the. Oh my God, that looks like it's hot. <laughs> Wow, fire true. looks like it's hot? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Dude, what an option. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe fire's gonna yeah, do more damage. I would, uh, yeah, I would just bring her in there. Like, fire's gonna do nothing to her. Oh, yeah, right. When you fly, you actually don't take fire damage, do you? Ready. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I just don't think it's enough to really warrant not doing it to get closer to the thing. Swordmaster oh Felix in the Just house. Abuse Wodaos for like people with like three health. <laughs> I was think I was thinking about uh, maybe bringing the bringing the Wudao against the Death Knight. <laughs> that would help for sure. I will. You have so much like you have so much ways to kill the Death Knight right now. Yeah. The only pr problem with this map is that he actually moves. Oh right, he does, and he comes with some pretty scary guys too, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they have Crescent Cycles, which are like. What? They're like what the are steel. Those? They're like steel blades, except they're basically like steel blade lances. It's, I think that's like the best way I could describe it. It's like they're almost. They're like better than a silver. They're better than like steel lances, but they're yeah. heavier than like silver lances. So that's what they are. Because I, when I saw them, I just Here like. Are they Which special they're, weapons? They're, I don't know. They're, no, they're just like solid. Like they're just good weapons. Ah, okay. All right, here we go. Don't me on that. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, the guy freaking uppercutted him with a sword! <laughs> what a monster! <laughs> oh my god, what, what's, what's, the, what's the to do workout video coming, guys? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, uh, Gas is working on like an Edelgard workout video. And uh, you just released a preview on it on your channel, and it looks hard as fuck. You feeling, uh, you feeling a bit sore today? Yup! <laughs> <laughs> feeling hell. Well, I mean. The 48 hours is always worse than the 24 hour. Oh yeah, yeah. I, Gast, explain why that is. I've always wondered. Why are you sore? Why are you more sore after 48 hours? I honestly couldn't tell you. Like, it's actually something I probably should know, but I just know that like your muscles are just trying to recover, and they're yeah just more sore sometimes. I mean, it it varies from person to person. Some people feel it like worse, like for only 24 hours. Some people have like. Prolonged muscle soreness, yeah, which is what it's like actually called, and that's like, yeah, that's no, just I, thing. no, I, I am old. It always hurts for me a lot more 48 hours after than compared to 24. I'm like, I'm so fucking dead at that point. I don't really know why. It's weird. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I think I should be able to get to all of these. I was able to do it. Like, it's not as hard as you think because I think they have a, they have vulnerabilities. I don't remember. They do. Um, and they're actually not that stupid, but the, the ones in the very top are kind of hard to get. They might die. Yeah. Alright, he's breaking down the wall, too. <laughs> Gerald gets doubled by a villager! <laughs> he gets doubled by a villager! They're rabid, dude. They're rabid villagers. <laughs> Still! Man. They're crazy. They have crazy white eyes. That is slow. And they laugh maniacally. Whoa! Oh, I what's fuck up, I love the backflip and shoot in the air. It's the coolest dodge animation they made, in my opinion. Like, well, that was in Fates too, I think. Yeah, I think it's taken from the Adventure class. Yeah, the Adventure was just like. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's like the most parkour class Fates ever, Fire Emblem ever had. Right. <laughs> Also, uh, did you know Geralt has a personal skill? I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> he got like, debuffs and shit. I never noticed. He's, he literally has a personal skill called Blade Breaker. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I was like, oh, I don't know. Everyone I has personal skills. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh no. Tomas. <gasps> Tomas? I forgot to deliver my book. He's just mad, dude, because he didn't deliver the book on time. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's been two months since you borrowed the history of Fulton. <laughs> I've come to collect. <laughs> he, just, he just wants the book back, man. <laughs> well, you're never going to deliver the book on time, you know? Is he the librarian? I thought he was just the guy who loves the library. <laughs> it's like, you're the librarian, right? I know. Wait, is he, is, he, is, he, is he referred to as the librarian? Yeah, he's still... I have to close my window. I, I yeah, yeah. Dimitri, call him. Oh, <sighs> did, did you close your window? Oh, he's gonna close his window now. 
Let's see, can we... Okay, I'm just gonna chug a javelin at this fucker. Donk. Dick shot. There we go. And then Mercedes. Uh, maybe we should use Ferdinand for this. Definitely want to send Ash over here to get this chest. And we can send Dimitri down here. Uh, wait, what kind of uh, repositionals do we have here? We have Swap. All oh, right. Oh yeah, there you go. Um, I was gonna say something. What was I gonna say? Uh, completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> you're gonna swap, or you already did swap? I already. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> too slow. Oh man. Whoa! I also noticed uh, whenever they shoot the uh, the the lightning sword, it looks like Ryoma's Raijinto from Fates for some reason. Like they have the same posture, which is interesting. Yeah, it's a nice little reference right there. Do you get anything for keeping the greeniness alive? I forget. I know you do. I just forget what they are. Also, to do one shotting with the steel sword. Oh. <laughs> God. This is I don't know, there's just something so incredibly weird about looking at Didu with the fucking, like, oh, The sword is so tiny compared to him. Alright, can Ferdinand von Eyer devil axe his way to- yes, he can. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. oh that's, a, that's a quest, too. The standard of nobility, guys. The standard of nobility. So, I actually uh, had the pleasure to try out uh, Maddening. Uh, a little bit on the stream. Did I tell you? Uh, I know. I saw you stream for like three hours. Yeah. I didn't watch because was, it was like super late. Uh, yeah, I was. That was like a bit of an impromptu thing. I was like, it's. It was five o'clock in the morning, and I was. Well, you said I saw at the beginning. You were like, I'm only. I'm about to go to bed, and then I saw this. Yeah, so I thought yeah. I might as well give it a try. And I might play for like a bit, and you ended up playing for three hours. <laughs> yeah, Why would you go to bed? Like fucking eight. Yeah. Yeah. Rough, dude. It was it was kind of rough. Uh, I um I ended up like because I just wanted to try it out on New Game Plus, but then I heard they give you sort of an incentive for not playing on New Game Plus. Yeah, you get like a different lost. menu or something. What you you get a different here? menu screen if you beat it, but the menu screen isn't like super. It's just like a glowy yellow one instead of a green one, <laughs> but it's still pretty cool. I like that they give you something. <laughs> My machinations lay undetected. <laughs> I was hiding away in Garrick Muck to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one I step closer. I am not a big fan of realizing our goal. Honestly, like I have, I'm gonna, I'm uh -oh. withdrawing my judgment of like Cronia oh, and Solon and the other guy because he must be an ally of Tomas. Like you need, I need more context for them before I can really make a judgment call. Yeah, apparently Golden Bear is like the route where you where you learn about them. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. So far, Solon is, I, I said, like, he checks every silly, every silly Fire Emblem villain box there is, pretty much. Oh, shit. Gotta rescue that guy. Like, I just don't like it when when when, um, when bosses start sex positioning. <laughs> it's my least favorite thing. I, I think it's useful if, like, we need to know why they even are doing something. Yeah. But, like, that's kind of, like, I mean, it's a video game. I, <laughs> there's some things I let slide, and like, like exposition that like gives context to what they're all about. I think is helpful. Yeah. But not, but not like when it's like freaking Yago doing. <laughs> I don't know. He's he. I can't remember an example, but I imagine he like did some exposition for no reason at one point. Yago exposition is a lot um, to himself. Yeah, he does that. He's like, ha ha ha. Now Corin will suffer. He he. Hoo 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 hoo. Haha, <laughs> uh, which is kind of cheesy and corny, uh, but at least Iago does it to himself when he thinks he's alone. Like we're watching, the player is watching, but Iago doesn't know that. But here it's like he's telling Dimitri, "Bah ha 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 ha! I wanted Flane's blood." Mu ha 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 ha! Which is like, why are you telling I, him this? I know, but I don't think you should think of it. I, I mean, I, I, I like I said, like we need context for some characters, and mm -hmm. like. 
If we, like, would you rather him not say it and just, like, leave you entirely in the dark and be like, I have no idea who this guy is oh, or it, what he's even doing here? It would be, no, I, I would prefer if I learned of it some other way, yeah, sure. But if, if it's the if it's the choice between expositioning and not knowing, yeah, sure, I, I'll take the exposition for sure. I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not that jaded. So, it doesn't, it doesn't, like, to be fair, it doesn't bother me that much. I just like bitching about it. Just, you know, <laughs> but... <laughs> I mean, what what is Fire Moon for if not for complaining, Gas? I mean, like, come on. <laughs> Actually, I was gonna bring this up as a topic of discussion. Yeah. So during and then this is actually this is gonna become like a video idea of yeah. mine. Yeah. Oh. But you're during... you're an inspired. You're you're very inspired these days, Gas. Yeah. I know. I very much am. Like, so I was like, so during the hurricane, yeah. we lost power. But <laughs> so you just sat there and thought about video ideas. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. Sorry, keep going. I thought about, oh my god, my all my food is gonna go bad. Oh. <laughs> so, um, what I did, so I, I I called up my my colleague and I was like, hey man, like can we can I chill at your place? Cause he has power, mm -hmm. like, like you know how like our power is separated by different grids, and if one grid go, goes down, then oh, yeah, another yeah. one not, might, not, might not necessarily go down. So his grid was still up. Yeah. So I went over to his place and I was like, hey man, like can I put my can I hang out with you and put like my stuff in your fridge? He's like, yeah, sure, no problem. So I brought the switch over, mm -hmm. and I I had like Smash Ultimate, Warrior, Fire Emblem Warriors, and like three houses. And he's never played Fire Emblem before. Uh huh. And but we I didn't like he was he wanted to watch me play Fire Emblem, but I was like, man, we should play like another like co-op game or something. Mm -hmm. And so I so we decided to play Warriors, and um, we were playing Warriors, and he was like. Even though, like, everything is, like, we know the context behind every cutscene and everything. Yeah. For him, he was, like, so, like, enthralled by, like, the gameplay, even to the graphics to some extent. And he's, like, really? a gamer, too. Like, he's played N64. Yeah. Oh. And so, basically, what I kind of opened my eyes to a little bit is, like, mate, like, we, I feel like it may, it might, it might be worth a discussion to ask like whether we take like fire emblem for granted and like whether or not like we like if the like the truth behind like the every no one like hates fire emblem like fire emblem fans like that yeah. name like seriously mm -hmm. and like whether or not we are actually like overly critical of the series when in reality like i just have i just had a friend who was like in awe of like how fun Warriors was and like how interesting the characters were. Like even like Lissa and she, oh my god. Did you see that coming? Did you just like throw him in there and like I expect he, that I not to happen? I thought he'd be okay. <laughs> I, he might die? He's gonna die. Oh boy. Yeah, no. But uh, I actually, I actually agree. Um, I think Fire Emblem fans are overly critical. But I think it's because we, we think it's more fun to critique something than to praise things, if that makes sense. Like, as a fan base or, like, as people? Yeah, I mean, like, it's more fun to critique something than it is to just, I mean, I can say a lot of positive things about Tree Houses, like, it's a great game. Like, there's a lot more about, there's more, a lot more good things to say about Tree Houses than there's bad things to say. But it might be more fun to point out the bad things, I mean, for some I people, maybe? Von I mean, it certainly sparks more discussion. I mean, I can say, yeah, I, I I can say guys like, oh, Trias is really good, and you go like, yeah, I agree. I'm like, okay. Uh, but I can also... No, no, that, I, I didn't really, I don't really mean, like, three houses specifically. I just mean, like, the tendency to, like, really, Here goes. like, I guess, criticize a lot of aspects about Fire Emblem. And, like, especially, like, Here we go. um, I guess, like, maybe, you know how, like, Awakening and Fates were, like, super criticized? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like... In retrospect, like, was it deserving of that criticism if the game was, like, fun and even... Or, like, should we take for granted... Should we, like, give more merit to, like, game reviewers and game journalists and stuff? Like, do they have a point when they say, like, it's a 10 out of 10 or, like, it's an inspiring story or some shit? Like, well, that entirely like, is, depends is it, on the game journalist, I think, but yeah. Stay like, focused. should we, like, just because they say... I don't know, like, something positive that we may not... That we may not necessarily agree with, like... <laughs> mm. Can, are we should we tell them or like disregard the review entirely or like I don't know it, it was just like an interesting thought because he no, was like I, I, like because he because we like meme on like the like the premonition cutscenes all the time and like for someone who's like literally never played fire Emblem before to like just be like so like having so much fun what should I do? like 
playing a game that like, or viewing a cutscene that tends to get a little like criticized. It was just yeah. really interesting to see. And I, I was like, Maybe I think are... it's. Uh, I think you can learn a lot from seeing a completely new player play Fire Emblem for the first time. I think you can. Yeah. Uh, I think we all need to sort of like. Uh, there's something that I call like connecting with your inner noob. Which is like, it's just trying to see things from a new perspective, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, of course, as we get more hardcore, we, we can get a lot, we can get very jaded, this is very true. We can get very jaded, and this, the, the jadedness can make us overlook or not appreciate aspects of Fire Emblem that we normally would appreciate. For sure. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, I will, I will gladly say, like, 80% of the time when I bitch about Fire Emblem, it's mostly just because I like bitching. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fun to complain. I think it's fun to make fun of things. I think it's fun to make the poke it a little niches. It doesn't mean I hate it. It's just, I don't know. Yeah. It's fun to complain sometimes, you know? It's, it's a lot more fun to tease and complain about something. Or at least it's there's more... Also, just, yeah, I can, I can end this map right now. This boss sucks. Um, but yeah. But yeah, it's fun, fun to complain. <laughs> Oral of the story, it's pretty fun to complain. It's fun to complain. Also, like, oh god, I want to gambit here. I want to gambit. Oh. I don't think that's going to kill him. Nah, probably not. I want to see what how Felix does against him, though. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you're going to kill him, for sure. The question is... Uh, maybe it's better to just love him. Wait, no, he, he counter counterattacks regardless, doesn't he? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I know. You'll you'll want to get in his face, because the Wo Dao, I think, is very lightweight as well. I can always turn Will if he fails, but there's a good chance he can crit here. So let's just try it. Okay. Come on. Fail to hit. Okay, that's nice. Crit. Yeah! yeah. God damn it, Felix, man. Chop, chop! Jesus Christ. And yeah, uh, also, I don't think Finesta. we caught... I don't think we commented on this, guests, but um, yeah, I didn't get the shield. Oh yeah, the shield sucks. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's like it reduces his his attack speed, and it's not super. Like he's gonna dodge tank things anyway, and like, yeah, I, I don't I, know. I, I guess it, it's it's a shield for someone who's like doesn't really need it. Like you can throw on other items for him and stuff. I don't know. I I didn't get it either, and it made. Like, no difference. Maybe it's gonna be way more useful on ma Maddening, where you really want the shield. Yeah, I can imagine that. But, like, I've always just relied on the Silver Shield to do the job. Hmm. So, uh, Helm Splitter's good against armor, right? You God damn correct. it, Ferdinand. Do you have a hammer? No, I don't. It's on Ash. Uh, shit. But I guess... Can I just, like, swap, maybe? That'd be good. Uh, if you're gonna get him to tank everything, you can definitely do that. I mean, it is to do. That's what he does. He has a shield, silver shield. <laughs> he has a silver shield, though. You know, yeah, I'd swap him. Yeah, it's fine. And then, uh, I mean, I feel like I could probably end it now, but there's some experience, and in... there's this chest over here that would be nice to get. I'm sure if Dimitri. I don't gonna... think it's like super in needed, but probably not. Oh, probably just gonna kill the boss on the next turn. Or, honestly, I could just end the risk right here and I could just like kill the boss this is a kill boss chapter right yeah I don't think you're gonna I don't think there's anything to risk though like those are just physical units that are gonna get their ass beat probably I'll, I'll, I'll I, would, I would wait I would wait it out I'm gonna kill, I'm kill him on the next turn you can I'll, you can just kill the villager though or kill the oh there's the a villager there god <laughs> I, uh, so uh, yeah I'm red green colorblind uh, so this actually is like I thought they were green I actually have an excuse. This isn't me being bad at Fire Emblem. This is literally a disability. I am actually handicapped, guys, so don't make fun of me. That, that would be very bad. Be respectful in the comment section. Or I will call you very insensitive people. Oh, what the hell? Oh, yeah, right. Right, yeah, wow. It's, it's it's solid Jesus, weapon. that's crazy. Also, yeah, guess. <laughs> You what? get a warning now if you try to discard an item on accident. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that's a new DLC update. It tells you, are you sure you want to discard? You get like an extra really? message. Because apparently, really? if you're dumb like me, <laughs> you, you hit B twice and it's just like, it, instead of like putting it into your convoy, it's like get rid of it. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I got rid okay. Apparently, I lost out on like four or five items because of that. 
like uh, on this playthrough? No, or in, the in, in, the, in the Black Eagles playthrough. I lost out on stat boosters. I even lost out. I even threw away a relic, I think, which is just like, I, I have no idea how I even did that. Or I don't know if it was B, a relic. You pressed B once <laughs> too many times. I man. pressed B and I just clicked very fast, and like everyone was like, "Manx, you deleted items." So now they're like, "Are you sure you want to be a retard?" <laughs> so thanks, 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 the thanks intelligence system for being nice to me. Uh, all right, so what does this guy have? Okay, that was both of them, I think. Yeah, that was both of them. So honestly, I say we mop up the units too easy. He looks crits man, way man. more than he should, man. I feel like there's like some hidden, hidden RNG with Felix, man. The Ryoma condition. The <laughs> yeah, but like seriously, I don't know. I don't know. It just feels like they crit a lot more, you know. I will Fine. admit, Felix does tend to crit a lot. It's like he has a secret edge lord modifier, you know. Se secret edge. God, I love well, the did, like, like, no lie, didn't. Um, didn't uh, Ryoma actually have like a hidden crit modifier? I, there was a there was a myth. I don't think it ever got confirmed, but I heard the same thing that Ryoma has like hidden crit added on top of him. Um, I honestly, I that sounds like a myth to me, unless it's just something funny they added. Ooh, Ooh dick shot. But no, the only one was just ridiculous. He could like solo the game on Lunatic. Easy. Like, uh. Yeah, he's insane. He is nuts of a character. Yeah, many people feel like Catherine is like. Like she's she's inspired by the Oma. But Catherine doesn't have 1 2 range, does she? Um. No. I don't. No, she doesn't. She has. A brave. A brave sword. <laughs> yeah, she's a brave relic, but it can't. Like. I'm not sure, can you- is it possible for players to get the counter-attack skill? Like, distant counter? Yeah. As a- I don't- no, it's not. As, I don't believe so. Cause I, uh, They can only get it- they can only get it through retribution as a- as a buff. Right, retribution, right, right. That's the- it's the crazy combat art that I haven't- that I haven't tried yet. Apparently it's pretty oh, good. It's, uh, it's a gambit. Oh, gambit, uh, gambit, I mean. Like, it's the one that, like, makes you- makes you do damage back to targets to attack you, right? Yeah, it gives you like infinite distant counter for five turns. It's That's insane. Pretty crazy, man. Ah, the cursed fell star. This will be a fine opportunity to measure your power. Your power. <laughs> Banshee. He even looks like a suka with like his floating staff and stuff. That's what I've been saying. So crazy. He looked, when I when I saw him when I, when he was in Tomas trying? mode. I was like, this guy looks like Izuka's like good guy. I could have conducted brother. this experiment yeah. on any test. Oh, you said it before the reveal? I have what I came for. No, I said I it like when I was playing Blue Lions, and I was like, this guy looks like Izuka, but like not evil. Because <laughs> his right. forehead was big, and he was like, he had the same shape of like he has the same like like body language. Oh my god. Like type deal. Okay, I'm I'm super excited to see what happens to Dimitri now. Looking go. MVP is yeah. probably Felix. Yeah. No Good guess. Fucking surprise there. Just fucking killed the Death Knight in one turn by himself. <laughs> just a, that's just Felix, man. All right, let's see what happens, man. I'm, I'm super stoked. Wait, thank you. Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramire Village. There you are. Ah. Oh. I figured he'd show up. That armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now, I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. 
Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Well, sorry. Not, uh, I said I said join your cause in the Black Eagles one. I'm gonna I'm gonna say refuse <laughs> now. Pity, though not unexpected. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Gerald, Professor, have you seen His Highness? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! Gerald, you gotta stop being so so Gone. surprised when enemies warp away. It's happened. This is like the third time it happens. <laughs> hey, I've been meaning to talk to you since coming to the monastery. I gotta go. I gotta be right back. Oh, okay. Like in my minute. You're on All your right. own, man. All right. Okay. <laughs> It's fine. Don't die during the cutscene. I'll try not to. Uh, how so? You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire Village, and you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery, I'd never seen you bear your emotions I think like this that. This is unchanged. No. Thank the students. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Wasn't I born after you left the monastery? Uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. Hmm. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Hmm. Yeah, this is never Professor, properly explained. I, I'm sorry you saw that side of me in the village. It must have been quite a shock to you and the others. I'm mortified by my behavior. When I saw the chaos and violence there, my mind just okay, back. went completely dark. Yeah, you, you, you arrived just in time. You weren't yourself, man. I see why you would say that. I always strive to keep my emotions at bay, but sometimes the darkness takes hold and it's impossible to suppress. It just shows you how lacking I am. I have much to learn. I've told you before, that someday we may find ourselves facing something we simply cannot accept. That's what the chaos in Ramire Village was to me. Solon and the Flame Emperor are both beasts who must be eliminated. Demons who kill the innocent. They aren't even human at this point. Hmm, where's this anger coming from? It must be hard to fathom. It's true that I don't have any strong connection to those villagers. And yet, you see, Professor, I saw the same. Yeah, I figured. I figured it would remind him of Dusker. Ago, in Dusker. Dusker, I mean. Oh. Please have mercy. What? Flashback. Yeah, the pain. Make the burning stop. Help me. Somebody. Avenge us. Those who killed us. Tear them apart. Destroy them all! That must be Dimitri's father. <laughs> I had to be. It looks like him. My father. Or at least like. Yeah, yeah it is. It is his dad. Four years ago, they lost their lives to those flames. I'll never forget. I still remember their faces, their screams, the tortured last moments of every person who died that day. But right now, all that matters is that we do whatever we can to help the surviving villagers get back to their normal lives. Thank you for everything. There's a reason that I came to the Officer's Academy. Just one reason. I came here for revenge. And one day, I will have it. But revenge against who? Who knows? <laughs> You'll have to find out. 
Next time. No. <laughs> you did well handling that awful business in Lemire Village. I am certain the goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic. <laughs> I don't remember Who her saying this. How did oh yeah, she was. She was like suspicious of like if you talk to Sothis during the monastery or one of the yeah. like explorer chapters mm -hmm. or explore sections. She's like that. Tomas guy looks pretty suspicious. <laughs> monastery forty years ago. By recommendation of House... Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia before returning to the monastery. Yeah, After this having is not worked at Derek right? for decades, no. why would he... Be Yuritsa became a professor at the officers, supposing that he is the Death Knight. That means... In the long history of the church, mm. there have been an endless... Yet those who... I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are... A threat to Fodlin's peace? That means we... Hmm. We must be stopped. All right. I have truly come to rely on you. I believe that the mo we do not yet know the enemy's objective or whereabouts. For now, please devote yourself to prepare. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for <laughs> in any case. So that last time too. I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly. Dear Professor, may the goddess Sothis protect you. The goddess right, right. I remember is this. something the matter? It's nothing. I see. In that case, farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. For now, let's leave. Okay. That was, uh, that was, that was something. That was, uh, shit, man. Dimitri. He wants revenge. Mm-hmm. But against who? Ooh. I'm I'm very I'm very curious. We'll see how where this goes next time. Until then, what should I do, guest? <laughs> leave a like. Leave a comment. Mm. Leave a subscription. <laughs> leave it, yeah, just leave it. Leave it. We leave it by the Leave it leave a subscription in the subscription box. We'll yeah. pick it up later. <laughs> we'll pick it up later. <laughs> All right. You made it chapter three of Maddening. Good lord. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> All right. We shall see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.